how to add a mask very quickly using the pen tool in Affinity Photo, PC or Mac. Go here to the pen tool, you find it in the tools panel, go to the control bar and go for mode and go for smart mode. Also, turn all the snaps off and then click add some nodes and I'm going to do it very loosely. You can always tweak it later. So just go there, just all the way around this leaf. That's all I'm just going to do, the leaf. And of course it could be a face, could be a person, anything. Some text. And you can drag this out, you can make it really long there, or maybe just click there and just make it very, very close points or not. Okay, so you've got that. Now you can also modify it. So if you see a little error, there's a few errors here. You can always go to the node tool, perfectly reasonable, but you can still remain on the pen tool, but hold down the command or control key on your keyboard. And doing that, you can see it will change. So cursor changes there, and then you can just drag that and position it slightly better. Maybe tweak things and add additional points if you want. Move that along, tweak that, just add a point there, change the handle there, and so on. So you can correct it, make a much better job of it. To turn it into a mask, just go up here, top left, and click mask. And you can see straight away, now there's obviously an error there, but you can tweak it again. Hold down the command or control and just modify it just slightly. I think that's slightly better. So now I've got that, say you want to add a background. You suddenly think, you know what? Oh, I want a black background. I don't want the image, but I want a black background. Go over to a layer and then new layer, and that will be added above. Just drag it down and put it below. So just drag it there and then go to edit and fill. And then fill it with black or green or blue and click apply and you can see your design there. Now to modify the curve at any time, simply go here, click the curve. So click that and now you can modify that mask. Again, tweak it using the pen tool or no tool if you want. Now with the pen tool, you have to hold down the command or control. Also, what you can do is you, if you want it slightly blurred, you decide, you know what? I want that slightly blurred. I don't want such a sharp edge. You can go to FX. Just click there, FX, and you go to Blur, and you've got here, as long as that's selected, you've got this radius, and then you can just change that just slightly, maybe three or four, two, just so you can get a slightly blurred edge, if that's what you want, and click Close. Now, if you want it completely without the mask, but you just want the leaf, that's it. You've finished, you're happy with that. All you need to do is go to Layer, and you can go to rasterize. So rasterize, and then you've got your design. That's it, it's done, you've just got your leaf, which you can now, of course, just duplicate. Hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate. And you can create multiple leaves like that very quickly. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.